All right, shell one. This is brother from the GMS. We're calling you back from another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harkadash. The ones the apostles and others, the great Muslim will teach us more percent truth according to the Bible will well. And peace and blessings still for like the nation of Israel. Take through spirit and power go by Shema Shai. You know, just like get into a lesson. You know, all through the spirit, you know, you know, this this is not our rest, you know. We shouldn't uh our desire should not be to get comfortable here in America, you see? The most uh you know, oppressed the scriptures talk about you know <coughs> that this place is all full of lies and robbery, you know, the prey depart not we can start we'll get uh Nahum one and three it says woe to the bloody city it is all full of lies and robbery that pray the part if not so the Lord said woe to the bloody city and the bloody city being America you know because this place has uh it has been greatly polluted with the blood of the Israelites you see uh rape only rape robbery and murder you know, has been done to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So how can you even, uh, how can you, how can you even begin to call this place your rest? You see, how can you even want to get comfortable here? You see, you should be seeking justice from Yahweh by Shema Shai for him to avenge you of your adversaries. In order for you to do that, you gotta be crying out to him. This is, um... Nahum 3 and 1 it says, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. This place is full of lies. You see? The whole uh, um, deception, inception of America was based on lies. You see? Here it is. Uh, the so-called white man Esau, Edom, according to Bible, signed all these peace treaties. You know, when they came over here and then broke with the so-called with the so-called Native Americans. You know what they do? They end up breaking every single one of them. So how is it in this day, 2020, all of a sudden, by you going to vote for Donald Trump or Joe Biden, that they're going to make good on their uh, plans to help you out? You see? It says, Woe to the bloody city it is all for lies and robbery. The prey depart not. You know? You know, he, uh, you know, robbery they raped robbed and murdered and pillaged the whole damn country you know where they uh they still got uh so-called uh mexicans over there in those concentration camps over there on the border but that's just been uh pushed under the rug with this whole covid19 thing you see you still got jay getting shot down in the streets hands up don't shoot why, why, what are you what are you seeking for in this place you see why are you trying to prolong your stay here this is Hebrews 13 and 14 for here here in America for here we have no continual city but we seek one to come you know here it is uh, when you do get settled down this damn devil comes in with a gentrification you know, kicking you, uh, uh, kicking you out of the neighborhood, keeping you uh, moving from one location to another. You see, so we're seeking a continual city to come, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven. So that should be our mindset. You see, I, I, I don't see what's up with Jake trusting their enemy. You see, but that's why two thirds are going to be destroyed. But the mindset of the whole of the whole elect is that we got to get the hell out of here. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And that covering with a covering, but not of my spirit, that, may, that they may add sin to sin, that go down, that walk to go down into Egypt. And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and trust in the shadow of Egypt. See, our people are trusting in this system. You see, when the Lord said what? To rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. You see, 
Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, that Mashiach shall give thee life. You see, the Lord is offering our people life, but they wouldn't be complacent here in America. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. See, Yahweh by Shimon Shai is going to, um, is going to, uh, cause this white man you know is going to allow the so-called white man to be the devil he is you see he's not going to be a hedge of protection onto the israelites you see yahweh shemar shai isn't going to protect the wicked of the israelites that's what i meant to say Salakia. for his princes were at zoan and his ambassadors come to Haines. there were all ashamed it says they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor help, nor be in help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach. So, like it tells you here in Lamentations, let's get this. Lamentations 4 and 17. As for, our, as for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. See, going down to Egypt, aka also known as America, you know, the place. Where we will serve other gods, you know, in the land of our captivity, uh, um, uh, playing, hard, uh, playing out our hardcore bondage for disobeying the Lord, disobeying the words of the will of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You see, the the word of the Lord, you know, which was for what for us to, you know, uh, be upright. You see, be righteous, walk in all His ways, trust and have faith in Him. You see. It says, as for us, our eyes says, yet fell for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So these Edomites, they're, they're, they're not, their will is not to, 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 to save you, Israelites. It's the, the, the will of these Edomites, which the Lord is going to uh, uh, cast their, uh, their enterprise down, which is their new world order. It's to keep you, uh, Jake's, in a perpetual state of what? Committing sin, because they understand that sin is what is our room, is what the, separates us from our power, Yahweh by Shema and Shai. And that if we continue in sin, our, our strength, it can't be in the Lord, you see? That's why it's important for us to repent and turn back to the Lord. This is Lamentations 1. In 21, they have heard that I sighed. These nations have heard that that uh, that we have sighed and cried, that we went into the hardcore bondage. Nobody wants to talk about that anymore. Nobody wants, you know, no one wants to talk, bring up slavery. You know, Jake, what do they have? They have Stockholm Syndrome. It says, you should be sighing and crying unto the Lord for all the wickedness that the so-called white man has done unto you. You see? You know, here it is. You you went for his help a uh, innumerable amount of times, and he slapped your hand down every time. You see, what makes you think this time is going to be any different? You see, that's why Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to cause shame to come upon you. You're going to be ashamed for trusting this Edomite. You see, and it's going to lead to your death. It's going to lead to you suffering in the fame. It's going to lead to you. Uh, dying in these uh, upcoming um, uh, civil unrest. You see, like it tells you in Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, it says they have heard that I sigh. These other nations have heard of our sighs and our cries. The hell that we caught here in America. They, they took so much that they took pictures of it. You see, there is none to comfort me. These other nations weren't comforting us when we were catching hell. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. So every, all the enemies of the nation of Israel have heard of our trouble. They are glad. What does it, what it say? It says, they are glad that thou hast done it. They are glad that Yahweh Shemel Shai has punished us for our iniquity, for our sin upon sin. You see, they weren't, okay, hey, you guys are the chosen people of the Lord. You see, you guys need to turn back to the God of the Bible if you guys want to get out of this low estate. No, they are glad. The scriptures talk about in Psalms 83. They have taken crafty counsel and said, Come, let us come 
and cut them off from being a, a people. They have come in one a, a, a consent. All the nations were in league together, you know, to uh, to keep Israel at such a low estate. Why do you think now they push, you know, abominable foods? They push uh, 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 the woman leading the household, the man getting kicked out. You see, they push uh, demonic music on the uh, on the people. Why do you think they do all these things? You see, to keep the Israelites down in, the, in a low estate. It says, they are glad that thou hast done it. Thou will bring, thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me. So, trading places is coming. Best believe, Yahweh by Shema Shai is a God who judges in the earth. And Israel is still his chosen people, but right now... The Lord's only dealing with the remnant, those who are what? Uh, seeking Him, that are arising, uh, being elevated by this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, that are seeking the Lord, seeking the ways that please the Lord. And He's going to save them out of their trouble. This is a uh, Revelation 7. I'm sorry, I'm in chapter 6. Revelation chapter, I'm gonna uh, go to 11. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 and their dead bodies and their dead bodies what's that talking about their, their spiritual dead bodies tells you what Proverbs 21 16 the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead you know what makes him dead that he doesn't have that breath he doesn't have that understanding that knowledge the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the spirit of understanding it says in their dead bodies in the congregation of the dead being these other nations you see so we instead of you know wandering you know staying on that path of righteousness what pleased the lord and what doesn't please him we have wandered out of the way of understanding to follow after the gods of these heathens you see and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city what, what great city is that talking about? It's talking about Babylon the Great. Which spiritually... Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Because the gods which the Egyptians... I mean, uh, uh, you know... Let's break down the Sodom part. Because why? In, in every state here in America... What is allowed? You know? You, uh, 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 you know... Uh, you brothers know what's allowed these sodomites to get married you see in some states it's even allowed for you to lay down with animals in Egypt because we are back in captivity serving the gods of our enemies you see which also which, where also our Lord was crucified our Lord was exed out you see and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations these other nations the heathens shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves you see so they seen us in this lowest state the state without knowledge you know a uh, state of catching pure hell and they didn't suffer us uh, to be put in the graves you see they didn't give us any rest any type of comfort by telling us who we are and after three days so what what makes you think they're gonna do it now you see they are they're glad that we're in this hellhole they're glad that we're in this lowest state but hey we got we're supposed to be repenting to to you by shema we're supposed to be sake of the lord verse 11 and after three days and a half the spirit of life from the most high enter into them and they stood upon their feet you know we got this knowledge back we we found out who we are you know we we got this wisdom knowledge understanding you know spirit of life has entered into us you know we know what we need to do to achieve salvation now let's read listen to this part it says and after three days and a half you know you know roughly 350 years you know, from, from, from the late 1960s to the early, uh, 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 sorry, from the late, uh, 1619, 1620 to roughly, uh, 16, uh, 1970, being 300 years, 350 years. It says, now after three days and a half, the spirit of life 
enter into them, the spirit of life from the most high enter into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw which saw them. So it's not like you, fear fell upon these these uh these elites when they saw us rising up when they as, as they see us rise up and continue to wake up they weren't happy you see because their whole goal and mission in life has been to keep us down fear fell upon them so if you want your uh um and it said Yahweh Shemel Shai intervened. And that's who we need to intervene now. We need Yahweh by Shemel Shai to intervene, you know, during this time of Jacob's trouble that's coming upon the earth for this Edomite, the so-called white man, has a plan to eradicate the children of Israel from off the face of the earth. And we're gonna need a higher power to intervene. We're gonna need Yahweh by Shemel Shai to disappoint this devil. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. It's like your brothers. What does it mean to arise and depart? Let's get that in Ephesians. You know? You know? And we'll get that in um, St. John 6 and 63 as well. It says, St. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake wake up you know because uh our people are stuck in this american dream that you know uh um stuck in this american dream that they should be at rest you see when you're sleeping you're what you're at rest you see you know and that you can make it here in this society so wherefore he say if you have by shimon shai say if awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead arise you know this word is what's gonna is going is what is going to quicken you to make you alive. You see, so you gotta be born again. You gotta repent unto the Lord and the rise from the dead from these other nations. You know, come out from among them and be separate. You know, uh, uh, repent from following after their ways, eating their abominable food, celebrating their holidays, seeking, uh, trimming, trimming, trimming down your ways to seek love here in America. You see. And the Mashiach shall give thee light, you see? And Yahweh Shai was going to give you that light, that understanding to see in this valley of shadow of death. So you so you know what's going on, you see? This is uh, St. John 6 and 63, and it reads. It says, Is the spirit that quickeneth, that word quickeneth means to make alive. The flesh profit of nothing, and that's what this world is teaching our people. You know, Esau being a carnal man, he's teaching the world to go after your your flesh, to go after your pleasures. Put uh, Yolo, you only live once. You know, put yourself first. Serve yourself. Worship yourself. You know, make sure you feel good. Make sure that you're happy. No, we are supposed to live our lives to make sure we're pleasing Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, we are placed on this earth to please the Lord as Hebrew Israelites. You see? You know? The world is not just a place. The Lord didn't just put us on the earth to do whatever the hell we wanted to. No, that's not how things... That's not how things are. That's not the reality of things. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these are the words of life. You see, so you repenting, you taking heed to Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, which ultimately will be the prophets today in these times, because that's who the Lord is speaking through. Then what? That will lead to you having life. You see, don't you want to live? You know? Don't you want to have, you know, a, a life where you don't got to worry about your kids, you know, getting kidnapped when they go outside? You know, just, just a better life and all together round about you know scripts talk about new heavens and new earth and the old heavens and the old earth shall not be remembered and, and neither call to mind this place this is gonna be like a bad dream when we wake up in the kingdom you see and that's what we should be desiring a, a, a city to come rest but not not right now but you know 
for, for the ultimate rest when we get to the kingdom. It says, Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. And how is this place polluted? You know, let's get that. Let's get numbers. You know, let's get one way physically how this place is polluted. Was it number numbers 35 and 33, I believe? This is a number 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that shed it. So the, the, the land, you know, which is America, and, and you know, in, in, this, uh, in this context, you know, the understanding of what we're going to in Micah, you see, the land is polluted with the blood of you Israelites. You see? And also it's polluted by what? The way of life. The way of life that they promote for you to follow. This is a Proverbs... Uh, 14 and 12 it says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death you see this place is polluted let's go back to Micah it says the end the end of this place you know you following uh, uh, their ways their philosophies you know their doctrine of life is going to lead to death Arise, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye in the park, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. You see, that sore destruction is going to be what? Those ICBM nuclear missiles, you see? Because why? That's the judgment of Yahweh by Shema Shai upon the wicked. And since our people... A majority of our people don't want to repent. Two thirds, being uh, exact, don't want to repent. Turn back to the Lord. They're going to be destroyed. You see, but we do this essence for the sincere, Akim, the sincere believers of Yah by Shema that they may repent and, and that they may wake the hell up. You know, realize, hey, this devil is not for us. You see, scriptures talk about what never trusting thy enemy. So we're not supposed to trust our oppressors. They want to keep us in the lowest state. You know, it's evident if you have this knowledge, you will see that. You know, that's why you gotta repent, so you can, so you can, uh, and, and, and believe on Yahweh by Shema Shah, so you can increase you in this knowledge and understanding. You know, come back and fear the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge. But Lord's will and His was edifying through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah. And we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and teaching us more percent truth, point to the Bible, well, and peace and blessings, so for like to the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.